Well, hey guys, I'm Natalie. This is Hey, It's a Good Life, and I'm so glad you're here because we are getting ready to feed the worms for the second time. So here's what I'm feeding the worms today. So a couple things that I've been learning about worms. There are some things that they can eat and there are some things that they can't eat. Some of the things that my worms have not been particularly interested in include things like garlic, onions, and avocado peels. So not totally sure why. Some people say that if you do it right, worms can eat anything. And other people say that you definitely don't ever wanna give your worms onions or garlic or citrus. I've never seen anybody say no avocado peels and yet my worms don't like them. So I am kind of taking a, these are my babies approach and I'm just gonna kind of test, you know, what's working and what's not working and take it from there. I'm very much a learner by hands-on experimentation and I'm sure many of you guys are like that as well. And that kind of makes it hard because I can do all the research in the world that I want, but until I'm actually doing it myself, I'm not really learning. So, so thanks for being here on this journey with me. I know there are so many ways to worm farm and compost and vermicompost. Everybody's got their own way. I'm kind of developing mine. And if something here benefits you, well then yay. Maybe you're here because you're just interested in the idea of vermicomposting. Maybe you're like me and you want to live a little bit more eco friendly. Maybe you're also like me and you've got a tiny urban homestead. Whatever it may be, I want to say I'm really glad you're here and let's learn something about worms together. All right guys, so let's talk for a moment about what's happening. So I kind of always open the bin and I kind of just check the general situation. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, when I look at the worm bin, when I kind of go through it, I look to see what's been eaten, if there's any mold issues, I kind of like to know where the worms are and what they're up to. I kind of like to check in on the worms because it gives me information on what they're interested in. And I'm also always checking to make sure that they're still alive and wiggling. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Right off the bat, I can tell you that taking the lid off, there's no smell. What smells is the garbage. This does not smell, pretty interesting. Part of that is that there's a healthy ecosystem within the bin, but also since adding this additional paper layer, brown layer as people call it, I've noticed a decrease in the smell a little bit. It does. It never smelled bad, it just doesn't smell as earthy anymore. It still smells earthy, it's just not as intense. I hope that makes sense. Here's another one of those avocado peels that they're really not interested in. Whoa, there's some seriously big worms. Okay, so we've done our checkup on the worms. Let's let's get this all situated back where it belongs. This is what's so interesting to me is that it does not smell like at all. It does not smell at all. So I encouraged most of the worms to go to the right side, which is where I fed them last time. Ideally, I would have encouraged them to go to the left side so that they would eat some of the stuff over there. But I think it's gonna work out because since there's still some uncomposted food on the right side, um, we're just gonna add on top of that and then it will just be like more food. So let's add some food. All right, so first up is that pear that I ate yesterday and I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit with the knife that I showed you guys that my husband made me and we're gonna get it cleaned up so it's back to its original finish. But isn't this cool? Anybody else a woodworker or a metal worker out there because this is Damascus steel in walnut, I believe. I'm still very impressed that my husband made me these knives. All right, next up is the rest of these bell peppers some oatmeal. And last but not least, I've added some water to our coffee grounds, which is good grit. I've learned for the worms, you can add eggshells, dirt. They need a little bit of grit in their diet to process food. So since we have so many coffee grounds readily available around here, this is what I've been giving my worms and so far, so good. Of 
works before I forget. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. More from me, hit that subscribe button and to be notified of when I post a video, which is just about every day, hit the bell as well. I just wanna say thanks so much for being here, you guys. It's been such a joy to get to know some of you guys and you guys have been so warm and so welcoming and so encouraging of me, a city girl, learning some old world skills, dreaming of having some land, having some animals and enjoying a good life. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you guys next time.